Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Gemini friends and friends of Gemini. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot. And hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here and welcome to my table. So Gemini, um, <clears throat> I'm just saying this for everybody. Thank you guys so much for your patience as I am getting the signs back on track here. <clears throat> I had um, that galactic royalty reading uh, really take off and I just have been swamped with personal readings as well. Um, no complaints anywhere. <laughs> I just... Uh, have been having to adjust my energy levels and schedule. So thank you. I love you guys. Thank you for your patience and understanding. So getting into your energy in meditation, my Gemini friends. Um, and then there's an Oracle card here and we'll get into tarot as we do. So what I was shown was a symbol um, that actually has come through for Virgo <clears throat> um, several months ago, a couple months ago. Room to Bloom. So I'm gonna show this to you and then I'll give you instructions as well. You can pause the video here and draw this out so that you can use it. Um, room to Bloom. So the point of this is to help you grow, is to help provide space, just like, I mean, in the drawing here too, there's a space that's been opened up between these two that allows for your ascension, for your growth. So the instructions for this was to... Um, <clears throat> First Spirit said to bury it when I got this originally, and um, I talked about it in the Virgo video too. I'm not a huge uh, proponent for burying like processed uh, paper, especially. If you have a brown paper, something that hasn't been bleached or treated with chemicals, feel free to uh, bury this, okay? Something that you would put in a compost pile, that's fine. Draw that on there to bury this into the dirt to allow on your property somewhere. If you don't have property, um, uh, a pot with some soil, okay? Um, in your kitchen specifically is, is kind of coming through for someone. So if that resonates with you, take that. <clears throat> if you don't want to bury it, you can draw it in the dirt as well. Putting intention in there for an expansion um, or for space to be opened up for your expansion, okay? All right. So next what came through, and this was a really interesting image. I had to sit with it for a second to break it down. So I was shown a raven or a crow, but then, uh, and it's just standing, just perched, wings are in, but the legs or the, um, yeah, the legs and the belly of it were, it's like there was a square cut out of this image. So what I got from that, the raven or crow can be spiritual sight. It's attached to the crone, it's attached to the shaman. Um, and spiritual sight. So what I got from that and taking the legs away is actually there's this pursuit of spiritual sight, spiritual progress, expansion potentially. Having the legs taken away from that, the message was um, almost like you're pushing yourself hard uh, in a spiritual sense and there is not a break that you're allowing yourself. Like you've taken your legs <laughs> away from yourself so you don't have the ability to rest. So the message that's coming through is that rest is very, very important in this process too. Just like we need physically to recoup our energy at night as we rest, so too do we also need that in a spiritual sense, in an emotional sense, okay? So there's just a, a highlight to that of like, take a break, yo. Um, seems like you guys are reaching for something <clears throat> outside of this physical experience in a spiritual sense, what I'm getting is like the answers are coming. The answers, answers, especially the ones that you're seeking hard, <laughs> um, are, are coming. And there's a, um, a need to like relax in order to receive it. <laughs> if you're puckered up too tight, <laughs> that message is not going to be able to come through. So I was directed to the Blue Angel Oracle deck for you guys. And the card that came out was Manifestation. So I'm going to hold this up here so you guys can see. I've had requests to, um, to see the cards a little bit better. So this is wealth. Um, this card signifies a deep desire for wealth and abundance on all levels, including spiritual and material wealth. Doors previously closed now open, as do fresh opportunities. You're building solid foundations for future creation and expansion in all areas of your life. Stay focused on your goals, be mindful of all around you, and more importantly, be mindful of the guidance that arises from within. Let your inner wisdom and light be your guide. You are what your deep driving desire is. As your desire is, so is your will. As your will is, so is your deed. As your deed is, so is your destiny. So, Gemini, um, 
without sp uh, spiritual wealth, it could be material wealth that you guys are looking for as well. But with that imagery with the crow, I, I'm kind of getting this pursuit of spiritual wealth, especially at this point. Okay. So um, let's get into your message. See what's going on. What's going on for Gemini? And I do, do you want a crow? Yeah, we do want a crow card. Okay. Let me pull this real quick and then we'll get into the tarot here. So what do we have here for Gemini, please, spirit? Preparation. That makes sense. Um, so preparation here. Having birth, birth, birth. Interesting. <laughs> you guys are birthing. Um, having both is what I was trying to say. Both of these crows here in flight uh, reminds me of that image. Like I said, oh, there are two here that are perched. So yeah, it was like, like a perched uh, crow here, but the legs were taken out. I just feel like part of the preparation for you guys right now is learning how to rest too. The things that matter the most don't, spiritually especially, wealth and, and um, expansion doesn't happen through force, okay? All right, so let's get into the tarot message for you guys here. I'm gonna start with the This May Hurt tarot deck. Spirit, what do we have for Gemini? Gemini friends. And huge shout out to my channel members, of course. You guys, thank you so much for your love and support. Um, if you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there is a join button next to the subscribe. You can hit subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, there's also a link in the description of this video. I do have personal readings open and available currently. Um, if you're interested in that, there is a link in the description of the video here. I may be taking a break here um, in about a month. I will announce if that's official or not. I'm just managing my own energy levels, okay, you guys? So if you're interested in that, I, I encourage you to take a look. Uh, it will open up again if I do take a break. It won't be that long, so no worries. Don't fret, mon frere, or mon <laughs> Or non-binary non sibling. So um, this is your hopes, hopes and dreams. You have justice come through. Um, I do feel like there is, actually, I'm feeling, okay, that's interesting. Thank you for that alert, spirit. If you saw the um, All Signs reading that I did, um, I do actually also, I we, we hit uh, 20,000 subscribers, you guys. Thank you for your love and support. As promised, I'm giving away two free readings. So rules on entry there are on this last All Signs reading. You can go back to that to um, to gather the rules, okay, to, to enter. But Gemini in particular. So when I went back and watched that reading, <laughs> um, I realized that like the word that I was trying to express in that situation, I was having a hard time finding. It was inspiration. So I was talking about, it was like mimicry or, um, you know, borrowing uh, ideas, being um, inspired, okay? Being inspired by somebody else's idea or work and um, and adding that to your own whatever it is that you're doing through inspiration. The difference between that and like full on theft of somebody's um, system or idea or something like that. I just felt even before I started here and having justice come through, there was an encouragement to talk about like, I am not condoning people stealing stuff, okay? <laughs> we are not doing that, all right? And, um, and it's okay if you have like your own thing that you do that is your it's okay to like you own that okay is what i'm trying to say um i just felt like i had to clear that up with with inspiration so um just as coming through here though there's a hope or a desire towards fairness or balance um it could be for some of you maybe you are going through a legal process right now um along those lines too i don't know maybe you've got maybe you've got a, a system or an idea or something that is uh, legally protected and you're you're dealing with that. I don't know. I get kind of like a fairness and a legal quality of justice coming through here. Okay, so we'll move into the second deck here. Um, the Untamed Tarot. Now we're a little bit behind today. My goodness. We're almost at 10 minutes. <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. I'm trying to um, just let the message flow instead of fixating so much on time and schedules, you guys. So please just be aware of that. That's my goal here is the message. So Spirit, what do we have here for Gemini? This is a general message, so please keep that in mind. Use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you, and please leave the rest behind. Um, don't try to force it or make it fit if it doesn't. Check out your rising moon, Venus, any other major placements in your chart for additional messages and components of your story. So your fear aversion is what comes through here as the fool. 
Um, the Fool is starting, starting new, starting fresh. It's a new journey. It is, um, I am kind of getting the component of feeling a fool in this situation, being a fear aversion. There's something about um, what you're experiencing right now. Maybe this is a process of growth that you're going through. Maybe you're feeling like a fool because you're not reaching that like spiritual zenith, whatever it is that you're looking for in that regard. Um, for some of you, I feel like there's a fear in, in starting over, starting new in something. Okay, let's get into it. Um, so general energy to start, two of cups. Two of cups is connection at its most basic. Um, it could be, some of you could be meeting somebody new. It could be in regards to love here for sure. Love could be coming in. I feel like it's more, um, if you do meet somebody recently or soon, I'm kind of getting that you may not like see this person in that light right away. Interesting. But for others of you, it could be business. Or it could be um, as you're going along on the spiritual path here and evolving and learning and growing, um, I get kind of like a, not as much a teacher, but a, like a companion, a spiritual companion. What does that mean? Someone to walk with you on this path. Oh, well, a friend. But somebody who understands you, like where you are too, spiritually. So Eight of Pentacles comes through here next. Um, Eight of Pentacles is hard work. Hard work, working hard. Um, it's the passion that you put into your work. I'm kind of getting this, this reading seems to be heading in more of like a spiritual evolve, evolvement um, way. Um, having room to bloom come through and that request to like rest as you need instead of trying to force an ascension. Um, burnout is a quality of the Eight of Pentacles too. So I feel like, mm, mm, okay, you may be in a place where you feel like you can't take a break or even taking a physical break is not recharging this pool of energy that you need to pursue further in your development. If that is spiritual, um, at work, whatever it is, um, continuing on with a workout routine, just putting energy into your life. What I'm getting is that there is, um, there's a burnout. One, two, three, four, 1234 on the timer. You guys are looking for the way forward, how, how to proceed, how to progress in a positive way, but the energy is just not there. So what, that's what I'm kind of getting is like, you can't drive, you can't drive a car, um, with no gas in the tank, right? In an example of a gas driving car or, um, driven car, um, there's something about like your tanks being empty and this person, maybe you already know who they are. They may be popping up here soon, but it feels like the intention of you guys coming together, they may also be in a position that you're in too, where they're, they're burnt out. They're tired. Um, we're all humans alive here right now. I'm sure we're all experiencing that to a degree. So this person coming through, um, it seems like there is a symbiotic relationship here for you guys where you're, you're not sacrificing for each other what, um, like your personal energy, but being in contact with each other, being around each other allows this flow of energy, uh, to fill both of you up. Yay. Okay. Awesome. I love that. Um, so good stuff coming through for you guys. Strength to start. I feel like this is, um, connecting to what we're saying here. You guys are working to push through something, okay, where there is burnout. Strength reminds us that it isn't, it's not about force. If we have to force it, it's probably shit, right? <laughs> um, so being in the position of the good stuff, I feel like this is a reminder that's coming through. This person may come through as a reminder. Ooh, there is that lion that's at the top of the Two of Cups there too. I feel like this person really helps to remind you that it's not about force. Like we're not talking about just, you know, kicking back or, or giving up on something or, or not participating in something. It's more because um, when we're forcing what I'm getting on that, whatever this is, you may be forcing that is coming from a place of fear. 
that demand for that progress, whatever that is, um, it is, it is the driving force essentially is like fear, um, a, a fear of not being enough, of not getting to where you want to go fast enough. Um, do you get what I'm saying? I know you can't answer me here, but, um, that's, that's what I'm getting. There's something, someone coming through to remind you that it, it is a gentle hand that's actually going to allow this recharge. Okay. I see that line is like your inner battery. Okay, uh, Four of Wands comes through here next for your good stuff. So Four of Wands is a crossing of a major threshold. I see, I like that combination here. As soon as you realize that pushing forward is not actually going to be a sustainable path or get you to where you wanna go, this is the milestone that you're crossing. There's an understanding. There's something about like, like I said, it's not even just giving up or stopping doing something. It's just refusing to continue to push. This, If this message is for you, I know that you recognize signs in your own experience that are saying you are pushing too hard. Are you at a point of exhaust, exhaustion, physically, emotionally, or spiritually? I'm getting this feeling of like um, anxiety coming across as maybe even a really irritable or cranky person on the outside, anxiety. <laughs> anxiety makes us look like we're assholes, right? Um, so that's kind of a tip off that's coming through. If you're experiencing a lot of anxiety right now, then um, this is your call to back it off just a little bit or a lot of it, depending on what you're doing. Okay, let's move forward. So what is in the dark or what you don't see coming here, unexpected, you have Queen of Wands. Mmm, I like to see this too. So Queen of Wands is, um, she typically, you know, she does what she wants to do and she doesn't give a shit what you think about it. <laughs> she is confident, she's authentic. Um, she doesn't have the same protection from fire that the rest of the court cards do, but she still does what she wants to do. She has that black cat there. She knows it's considered bad luck, but she doesn't care what you think. So being in the dark here, um, uh, or what you don't see coming, I feel like it's that quality of protection from fire. So she's drawing a salamander here in the standard Rider weight deck. All of the court cards have in the wands have uh, salamanders on their cloaks, which represent protection from fire, but she does not. So what you don't see about this situation is it's okay to back off. It's okay to not continue to push forward. There's actually protection in you taking a, a break. Maybe there is a physical rest that needs to happen here. Maybe you are working every single day, having a hard time logically figuring out um, how to make a day off work for you. Like I'm just getting this concept of, well, I have bills to pay, I have you know this or that. Um, none of that goes on, right? If you aren't here to participate in that. And um, we can absolutely run ourselves into the ground. Cortisol will kill us eventually, uh, too much of it, okay? So this is just a reminder here that you guys are protected. Turn your face towards the sun, let the shadows fall behind you. Take a break. Three of Wands here comes in to clarify. This is um, the quality of uh, help arriving at exactly the right time. This is expansion, it's your ship coming in. Uh, so yeah, have your reminder here, you guys, just that it is okay. There may be anxiety and fear going on right now and whatever it is that you're doing. I do feel it's more like a spiritual, you're looking for spiritual answers for most of you, reaching for the answer, whatever that means to you. Um, but in releasing control of that or trying to push too hard, it comes naturally. This is already set up for you to receive these answers, whatever it is that you're seeking right now. But every action has an equal and opposite reaction, right? I'm seeing, you know, like when you're walking a dog or a cat, any animal, I think probably this way, another human. <laughs> um, if you pull on the leash, they will instinctively pull back. It's not a, a thought that they're like, oh, I'm being pulled. It's just an, a natural reaction. Every action has an equal and opposing reaction. So um, if you're reaching too hard for something, that answer, it's just moving further out of your grasp. Okay, that's where I was going. Thank you, Spirit. So your challenge here, your obstacle at this time. You have Three of Cups come through first. So Three of Cups is, uh, and this makes sense too, I feel like this is a part of your 
relaxing into this right now. This is success. It's celebration. It's um, uh, hanging out with your soul tribe. Okay. There's a component of the Three of Cups that recommends finding reasons to celebrate even if things are hard. Um, I like the imagery on the Deviant Moon Tarot. There are three individuals that are coming up out of the belly of this sea monster. And they're all, you know, clinking, cheersing each other's, <laughs> or each other. And um, it symbolizes that they are still finding reasons to celebrate and be happy even when they are literally being eaten by the sea monster. So I feel like that's a part of your obstacle right now is perspective. I'm being brought back to that symbol of room to bloom. Like, um, what I'm seeing is compacted soil. Interesting. Like that force, not allowing yourself time to play, to have fun, to celebrate moments, to create moments to celebrate is similar to compacting the soil around the seed, whatever it is that you're trying to grow. Um, I accidentally picked up this card underneath here too, and the Blue Angel Oracle. This symbolizes positive news. I just felt like uh, wings of light. I just felt like I wanted to throw that in there. I feel like what you're searching for is just right there. And it's just asking you or requiring for you to stop reaching for it too. It's a cat, okay? <laughs> Leave it alone and it'll come to you. So two of wands comes through here next to clarify. This is uh, in the obstacle. I feel like there's a need to make a decision with the two of wands. It's moving from where you were comfortable, your comfort zone, to where you may be uncomfortable for the sake of growth. Can you tell me a little bit more about that spirit? What is it about the discomfort? I'm going to pull another card here. Can you give me a little more information here on the Two of Wands? The Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Um, so coming through is like a form of advice here too. The wheel is turning. We don't control the wheel turning. So whether you're in an environment where you do feel comfortable or not, there's, there's a portion of that experience that comes with the turning of the wheel too. So I'm getting this note of like part of the obstacle here right now is working with the hand that you've been dealt instead of like requesting that the dealer give you a new hand. So whatever it is that you're reaching for spiritually right now does not come by trying to request a new hand from the dealer. That's the difficult part of this <laughs> is surrendering into that, relaxing into that reality. And I'm not saying, you know, like you can't, manifest something new, but this, the wheel symbolizes, um, lessons in karma, essentially. So this is a period of time where you're learning a karmic lesson. Okay. And I feel like it's about surrender and rest to treat yourself well, your body well. Okay. Three main pieces of advice here, please, for Gemini. Evaluation. Feed out what doesn't serve you, reevaluate the situation. I feel like we're brought back to, you know, reevaluating how it is that you're reaching for whatever this is that you're reaching for to simplify things and feeding out what doesn't serve you. Removing what's complicated right now, okay? Like what you can, obviously. What else do we have here for Gemini, please? <laughs> Whoa! Patience, manifestations are on the way. Hey, hey, hey. Stop reaching for it, right? It's coming, like I said, it's on it's on the way. It's already left the warehouse. Acceptance, accept past and current situations, work through issues gracefully. I'm very strongly getting that message of like, well, acceptance is a good way to put that. You're not um like you're not a going into the space of like, well, this is just my life, you know, I can't. There are some things I feel like we are meant to accept here um, that are that may not be super changeable aspects. I know there are some beliefs that like we can we can adjust everything. And I think in certain ways we can. Um, but a lot of the time we're dismissing the growth that comes from like, 
honoring the burden of being a human being with certain things and accepting things as they are. I think an attitude of wanting to constantly change everything can in and of itself become a bit toxic. Maybe an unpopular opinion, but there you go. <laughs> okay. Um, animal spirit messages for Gemini, please. This is the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Oracle. What else does Gemini need to know? Or can they know? Ooh. So whale, interesting. Whale comes out here um, in reverse. Vulture stands out to me on the bottom. A need to allow um, something to, to transition. Some of you may be hanging on to part of that grasping, maybe holding on to something in the past that needs to be let go of. So whale, but it did come through here in reverse. Whale, um, whale personalities are those that, uh, that dive deep, dive deep into emotional experiences. There is a reminder here as a whale though, diving deep. Okay. So this process of reaching for the spiritual enlightenment or whatever it is that you're looking for is akin to diving. Okay. <laughs> Ascending or diving. Um, even the whale has to come up for air as the book puts it. So this rest, um, allowing the legs or feet to come back onto the crow here so that you can perch and rest is your version of coming up for air in this situation. You guys got to breathe too. <laughs> okay. Gemini, I love you guys so much. And happy birthday, of course, to everybody in Gemini season. Um, I am going to move into an extended reading here. If you'd like to join me, there are links in the description there. If not, and this is uh, where we part, please know that you received the message you were intended to receive. No stress if you don't want to join me. Okay. Um, again, personal readings are available if you want to check that out. I do also accept donations and I have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description. Thank you guys so much to those who do support the channel in that way. It truly does go a long way and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want notifications when I have new videos coming out. Great ways to support me in the growth of this channel and thank you as well, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. So I love you, Gemini. Thank you for joining me. Please take care of yourself and I'll see you all very soon. Okay. Be well.